with organizations like the Asian American Insurance Network, you know, NIA, uh, the, the, the Latin American Insurance Association, what do you feel is the importance of, and, and you know what, not even those just for, for minorities, but even other professionals who are, who are inside of this space, but, but speaking to these particular initiatives, what do you feel the, the role is and the importance is of these organizations with professionals and, and not saying what the organizations have to do, why do you think professionals need to actually join and participate in these organizations so that they can be a part of, of, uh, of initiating you know, these changes that are occurring? Yeah, one of my friends uses the, the slogan of like minds. And I, I, I really feel that that's powerful because a lot of times you feel like you're the only person in the room. Um, and so to be able to join organizations where uh, the people think like you, you know, people have similar experiences to you that in your of like minds truly. Um, for one thing, I think it's, it, it, it's supportive and you're able to know, okay, I'm not alone. And then Beyond that, it's okay, then now what can we do together? And I know NIA is having their national conference this year. I think it's 25 years, but yeah. to see the, all the progress that they've, that, you know, the organization has made as a whole. Uh, I know for us within the Asian community with the Asian, we're calling it AIN, Asian American Insurance Network, we're using that as a model of how, how can we just get people in the door? You get, once you get people in the door of like minds, then you start sharing, you collaborating, and then the amplification becomes exponential. So I, I would just encourage anybody to, to join these organizations. And the, the fun part, Rod, is going to be to see what we as AIM with NIA and with LIA and with other diverse organizations, what can we do together now where maybe right. that collaboration hasn't happened as proactively in the past? Yeah. I mean, if we put, if we put all of the percentages together, then we might almost be half of the industry, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's go. <laughs> Actually, that would be like 30% and we put them all together. I'm thinking about the statistics now. I'm thinking about the, the percentages of statistics. So, yeah, man, no, no. I, listen, I, I, I agree with you 100%, you know, that, um, you know, that the organizations are going to be as powerful as the people who are joining them, supporting them, and, and really able to participate in, in driving the initiatives, holding the companies accountable, um, sharing knowledge with one another, you know, finding ways to collaborate. I think even your example, e even though it was under strange circumstances, you know, we shouldn't have to collaborate just out of necessity, you know, but when you mentioned like the fifth, you said 15 agents had to come together so that they could get one appointment. I mean, that's yeah. crazy, <laughs> you know? but, but, but you know, but it drove the collaboration, right? But it, it drove it drove the collab collaborations, like you know those those those, those tense tense times. And you know, we've been, we've had some tense times in the past couple of years, and and now you know the the energy, the momentum is is definitely there, you know, for uh, right. for these organizations to keep growing. It sounds like, I mean, you you being in this space, man, your life has gone in a completely different different direction than what you initially planned. You know, high school and college, you know, you would be a professional athlete you know, at, at this point, um, had, had it gone, you know, the way that you thought back then, but it, it seems like, you know, now you're, you know, that, Hey, not only are you gratified, but you're really living in, in your purpose, you know, in this, in this space. Um, cause if you hadn't gone in insurance, then there wouldn't be an Asian American insurance network starting. <laughs> so, hopefully so really, somebody would have started at some point. <laughs> right. But ho hopefully no. you're right. You're right. But um, I want I want to ask you, you know, how do you feel like your life has been different? You know, and I, and I'd say the term with the license versus before life, after license versus before license. But, you know, going into to the industry, participating in this space versus, you know, not participating. How, how do you feel like, you know, your life has been changed or how you've been changed as a person? Uh, yeah. And you kind of said it previously is that if if I were still in baseball, so if I could use I was unlicensed when I was pursuing my baseball career. And I, that's what I thought that I really wanted to do. Um, I think what has held true to me my whole life, though, is, and I tip my hat to my parents and my grandparents and those who've gone before me, is there's a value system within me that is, is built around, you know, community. It's built around integrity, built around honesty. Uh, my mom used to tell me uh, before she passed, you you've been so blessed, you need to bless others. And so mm -hmm. I think this, you know, I think the underlining tones of regardless of what I did uh, were there. 
Um, I think prior to being licensed, maybe I could influence, you know, 25 guys on a baseball team that I was coaching. Right. And, and that would have been impactful, but Mm -hmm. since getting licensed and creating these opportunities, not only for my family and our community, but, uh, in our employees, but for our broader diverse communities, um, it's been more than I've ever dreamed. And, and I think what I love too, is that I love to see the people around me that are coming and joining to see them thriving and that they can have a certain lifestyle that they want to live. They can give to the nonprofits that they want to give to, um, you know, they can, they can go, you know, on a two week cruise in the Mediterranean, if they want like this, that stuff to see other people creating a livelihood for themselves is, is, is so fulfilling that prior to being insurance, you know, like I said, I could, you know, maybe impact a couple people or a few people at a time. So, so it sounds like it's, a, it, it's expanded your vision. Absolutely. Over the yeah. Years. Mm-hmm. yeah. And, and since, and, and in doing that, okay. So you, you said, you said something earlier, you said 30 years from now, 30 years from now, you know, you, you've left, you know, you, you've, you've made an impact that's just beyond, you know, just offering product or running the, running the agency. What, what is, what is Josh Moore's le- legacy 30 years from now? What, what's the, the bigger picture, the ultimate goal at the end of the day? I would say that for our diverse communities that we have more opportunity uh, or equal opportunity, true equal opportunity within insurance. And, uh, and I'm just dialing into the insurance space because that's what we do. But I think the ripple effect of if we can do an insurance, why can't we do it in other industries? So that, you know, maybe that's 10 years from now and then I can just retire. But (laughs) 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 Uh, Rod, you and I got to talk a lot more. We got to figure this out. But, uh, you know, hey, let me see. (laughs) Uh, Listen, I'm 43 right now. 50. I'm trying at 50. I'm trying to really kind of be ready to level it out, you know? So, <laughs> okay. So, so I'll be 40 in two weeks. So okay. if we can accomplish this by the time you're 50 and walk away and have already passed that baton. Well, and that's the other thing is I can only speak for my generation. And so if I can inspire somebody that's in their twenties right now, that in 10 years can take the baton and implement strategies and be supported and valued. And I would love to turn over the reins at any point I'm building into that already. Yeah. Are you already planting the seeds for your children to uh, come into the business? Um, Are they no, cleaning the toilets? Yet. One of your sons is nine, right? Is he cleaning the toilets in the office? Uh, at home, not at the <laughs> office. Yeah, I, 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 that's one thing. I got to carry on that tradition. That, that's my fault. <laughs> oh, good, man. So, hey, look, um, hey, I, I really appreciate, you know, you, you, you coming on and, and, and taking some time, you know, to, to share. Um, just as, as we get ready to close out, if, if there's somebody who's who's listening and, you know, maybe they're, they're, they're thinking about getting to the space, maybe they heard, you know, maybe they went to a, they heard something, a friend, you know, maybe mentioned it to them or, you know, they listened to this conversation because they follow the platform and see some of the, the motivational posts that we have. And they say, hey, let me let me check that out. Um, what, what kind of guidance w- would you give to them if, they, if they're on the fence and kind of thinking about getting into this business? I would say where, whichever state you're in, go take the license test. It's, it takes 40 hours or 50 hours to complete. You can do it online. Go take the test. You can do a crash course and it'll be very easy to help, help you pass the test, get your license, and that'll open up doors for you to start selling insurance or servicing or really being able to see all the opportunities that are within the industry. But it's, it is such a great opportunity the reoccurring revenue is amazing and the stability of our industry. I don't think any of us are worrying about getting laid off right now because the industry continues to be what it is. That's right. Re- recession proof, reoccurring revenue via the, those renewals. I mean, it's, it's what, what better business than, than the business of, of, of money itself, you know, dealing with absolutely you know, our financial foundations. Right. And, and, and just more educated to, to, not only for yourself and your family, but you're more educated to empower others, you know, and, and mm-hmm. it's going to influence the decisions you make. I mean, there's just, there's just so many benefits. Thank you for, for, for sharing that. Um, now for those who are in California, Hawaii, Massachusetts, right. And they say, you know, man, Josh, I want to connect with him or even 
you know, some of the, the Asian community who are, who are listening to this and, you know, they want to be a part of the A, they want to be a part of A, right? They want to know how to get more information. How, how can they connect with you? How can they get more information on, on what you got going on? Uh, best is through LinkedIn. Uh, my name is Joshua Mori on LinkedIn and you can find my email and all my contact information there. All right. We'll make sure that we have it, you know, listed as well here uh, where you can find Origin. And we got to get all, all those URLs and we'll have them have them posted so, <laughs> so you can click. And uh, looking forward to uh, the, I be, is this going to be the first any event coming up in in 2023 in January? Is that going to be January? We're doing a couple others throughout the U.S. Uh, most of them are piggybacking on other conferences that are taking place. But okay. the one, uh, yeah, in January is going to be. Are you? Hopefully, you're coming out for it. I'm, I'm definitely coming out for it. I'm definitely. I'm. I'm over. I'm long overdue for a trip to L.A. L long overdue. <laughs> you know. So let, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> I, I pre appreciate the time. Thank you so much. You know, for being on, and uh, for for everyone who 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 has listened you know, to Josh and, and, and his story from the legacy of his family to his career in, in sports and as an athlete to his journey in this industry to taking over the family business, but not just taking over and coasting, but scaling it and then expanding into a, a, a phenomenal community service, a true, true community service initiative that's growing, not just in his hometown, but nationwide across the country. Please, please, please you know, make sure that you support, uh, lock in. If you want to get, get, get more information, you know, reach out to them as well. And maybe you heard something in this conversation that inspired you, that motivated you, you know, you got some education, some knowledge that made you think to yourself, hmm, maybe you should get a license. And until the next time, take care.